Good evening to one and all. Welcome to our hour of power. Welcome to an hour that where the powers of darkness are going to be broken and destroyed. Are you ready for them tonight? I believe that say you have waited upon God even in your fasting and prayer. So you're not going to be disappointed. The miracle that you have sought the Lord for is on its way. It's through the airways and it's coming to your home. There's a special delivery tonight into your home. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Are you expecting great things? And I know that as we gather in this, in this time of prayer and intercession, this time that we've been waiting on God, God is going to do something awesome. Every high thing must come down.
a supernatural blessing upon every man or every father. And I pray today, Lord, that you bless them. We pray for the wife. We thank you, Lord, that today you've made the wife of God not beneath or below the man, but you've made her co-equal with the man. And Lord, as long as the man begins to understand her role, I begin to declare that as his helpmate, she will stand in prayer. She will stand, O God, in the gap. She will fast and she will pray for her family. I pray, God, that there will be something that will begin to happen. Right now, let there be a shift in the family. Let there be a shifting in the family. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for the children today. Lord, we realize, O God, that there's a spirit of rebellion. There's a spirit of witchcraft. O God, that has been unleashed into from hell over God's children, no matter how small or how big your children are. But I want you to know today that they are not exempt from this attack. If you cover them with the blood of Jesus, that is like the vaccine that people are praying for tonight. And I pray today that the power of Gideon, the healing power of God protects the children today. We cut off every ungodly thing. We cut off ungodly relationships. We cut off ungodly friends. We cut off ungodly company. Oh God, that will lead them. Oh God, into the white road. We cut off every ungodly influence in their lives. And we ask today that the family begin to be blessed by the power of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that some moms and some dads are even crying out for their children because there's a spirit of addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, substance abuse. Tonight, Lord, I rebuke the demon, oh God, of substance abuse. I rebuke the demon tonight, Lord, of hope. Come on, devil, I break your power. Today, you demon of addiction, you spirit that has come from the pit of hell, I break your power. I break your power. I break your power over God's children. Father, children will begin to respect their parents. Children will begin to understand that their moms and their dads, oh God, have been placed on the altar, not ordinarily, but there's a purpose, there's a covenant that they have to fulfill. And Lord, the children will need to understand that. So bless them to for those little boys and girls that return to school next week, I pray a supernatural blessing. Lord, even in this very affected COVID-19 year, 2021, I prophesy shall be the year of blessing, shall be the year of victory, shall be the year, Lord, when your children will begin to experience you. Hallelujah. Now we're going to pray for the church. Zabrakato, the Ecclesia, the corner of the chosen one, the remnant tonight. Father, your word tells us, O oh God, that you stand, the Lord Jesus said, upon this rock, will I build my church and the gates of hell ain't going to prevail against your church. Tonight, Lord, we thank you for this militant, vibrant force on the earth, Lord, that capsizes every demonic power, Lord, that bombards and raids hell. Lord, I pray for every mobile, every child of God, every soldier in the army of God that belongs to the organism of the church. I pray today, oh God, that you begin to recruit us, those who have backslidden and have fallen along the wayside. I call them back. I call them back tonight. Come back, I say to you today, child of God, come back into the fold. Let nobody be discouraged. Father, anybody that's wounded tonight, anybody that feels low, anybody that feels like giving up, anybody feels, oh God, that they can't make it, I call them back today. In the name of Jesus, the church of Jesus Christ will fly on higher. The flight, the, Zion, the banner of Zion shall be lifted up today, God, as we begin to pray. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that the church will be populated. Oh, God, as the revival begins to come, Lord, I call souls from the north, the south, the east, Mara, Bakoto, Shah. I call souls in tonight. I call souls, precious souls, that don't know Jesus tonight. I call them in to the kingdom of God. Thank you. 
as a prophet of God and I understand what's going to happen, those people are going to become fire on fire for God. They're going to really, really jump, praise, dance, clap. And we welcome all of those things. Now, would you listen? The Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. If you call for lukewarm, make right with God. Because those people are going to come in and they're going to bring the fire. Demons are going to fly. Things are going to happen. And I'm telling you, we aim for the greatest measure. We aim for the greatest move of God ever that's going to hit this planet. Uh, not just here, but throughout the world. Uh, listen to me. Every corner of this globe, uh, there's going to be things that's going to start to happen. Revival is going to break out. Uh, and I tell you why. Because we're going to see the prophecies of Job chapter 2, 27 and 28 uh, being fulfilled. We're going to see the prophecies uh, of the men and women of God of old, the prophets, uh, the major and the minor prophets uh, that said before the Lord returns, uh, all of these things need to happen. I'm telling you, you have to get ready. You can't sleep. You're going to miss this. God is going to do something supernatural. We are almost ready for the bridegroom to return. I want you to know the fever of revival is sweeping the end. The spirit of God is moving across the earth. The Bible says that the glory of the Lord will come up. The earth has the waters come the sea. We're ready for that move. The glory of God is descending. You want to see supernatural miracles? Listen to me. Listen to me carefully. Start praying. Start fasting. Start pushing us men and women of God in prayer and watch how God begins to turn and change the atmosphere. Even through the airwaves tonight, something has happened. Don't go to bed tonight without thanking God. Don't go to bed tonight and say to God, God, you've done nothing. God's done everything for you. I'm going to close tonight, but I want to pray. When I come on Sunday morning, I'm going to suffer. But I want to pray tonight for now or then. God's going to do something. Stretch forth your hand if you want something to happen tonight. Maybe you have a prayer request. You probably say, but I need you to pray for me. Right? I'll pray for you. But remember now, don't pray for things that may not be God's will. Pray for things that are in the hours of God's will. Alright? Let's pray together. Father, I thank you tonight that as I release even through the airwaves of God of this camera, I speak tonight, Lord, of victory over every single being. I speak, Lord, of favor. I speak breakthrough. I speak, oh God, and I prophesy, I release, I declare, and I decree the blessings of Almighty God that will flow through you. Nobody, Lord, will live in black. No child of God will be punished by any demon. No child of God will live, oh God, an uncomfortable life, a battling life. But everybody will be blessed in the name of Jesus. I'm about to pronounce the benediction, and I'm going to hand over to the praise and worship team. They're going to bring the speeding to an end, receive the benediction. And now, unto him who is able to keep us from falling, and to present us faultless before the only wise God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the blessed and sweet Holy Spirit rest and abide with each one of us now and forevermore until we meet Jesus with his face in the clouds of glory. Everybody will say together, Amen. From me to you till Sunday morning, God bless you. Have a blessed week.